Well, hello. Welcome to my channel. This is Bev, Fabulously Functional, on Sunday evening. Um, and I thought that, drinking some water here, I thought that I would uh, share with you um, uh, my Sunday dinner. And I'm thinking, um, just depending on the kind of response I get, uh, that I will share me and my husband's Sunday dinner with you each Sunday. What we're eating uh, vegan on Sunday. And um, we dine sufficiently today. Um, and my husband, of course, he's my number one supporter and encourager and taster. Uh, and will tell me the truth about how things taste. So he thoroughly enjoyed his dinner. I thoroughly enjoyed my dinner. Uh, some of the things we ate today were the things that were on my menu for this week. Uh, I used to serve during the week, but now that I care for my grandchildren, I serve on the weekends. So people fill out their order forms, and um, they do it by noon on Friday. And on Sundays, they either come pick it up from the church, uh, where we have virtual worship, or they come to my home and pick it up. Uh, later in the afternoon after me and my husband get back home from virtual worship. So I just wanted to share uh, with you what we had for dinner today. Um, and some of you that may watch this later that ordered from Bev's Midday Cafe, uh, you may see a few things on here <laughs> that were not on the menu. And so I do do a little extra for Dr. Woodard uh, with things that are not on the menu. So I'm going to um, do if you will, our second wave of eating because many of you probably are just like us. We eat an early dinner on Sunday because we eat almost right after we get home from church, which is kind of early for dinner. And then we come back later on uh, Sunday evening and get that supper. So you have dinner, say around 3 o'clock, 3.30, and then you have supper about 7, 7.30 in the evening on Sunday. Now, that's how it is in my house. I don't know how it is uh, for you in your house. But um, before I get into uh, what we had for dinner, and I'm going to plate it up so you can see how beautiful the plate looked before I gave it to Dr. Woodard, and he devoured it. Uh, I tried something. Um, I went, uh, on my menu was the vegan apple pie that I made for Christmas that EC and Josh were tasting that EC helped me make. So that was on, um, for those of you who follow EC and Josh, that the pie that was on the menu this week is the pie that we made together for Christmas. And so um, I made the pie, I made double filling, but I only had one uh, top and bottom uh, crust. So I didn't need but one pie for the orders that I had. So I had eight orders for pie, and so I only made one pie, but I had all this pie filling left. So I saw this puff pastry, and it's vegan puff pastry. Uh, and the name of it is, I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Wee Walka Flaky Puff Pastry. So with the leftover, apple mixture that I had and I had a great deal of it left over here's still some more I still have some I I, I um, bought a five pound bag of um, Granny Smith apples and I cut every one of them up <laughs> so I got a lot of filling here but delicious uh, Granny Smith apple pie filling and uh, the recipe um, Mmm. It's good when it ain't even cooked. But anyway. <laughs> um I got the recipe for the vegan pie from this book. Make sure I can turn it the right way. It's called Deliciously Vegan. Uh 90 tasty plant-based recipes for every occasion. And it's called the Chic Natural. My daughter gave me this for Christmas. And so as soon as I got it from her, she gave it to me kind of before Christmas. And I think she was 
trying to say, hey, mama, cook one of these. And so I did. I took that apple, simple apple pie, classic apple pie, from her cookbook. Uh, I believe you can follow her uh, as well on YouTube. Um, the Chic Natural is what I think it's called. Chic, C-H-I-C, uh, natural, deliciously vegan. So my recipe for the pie filling I got from her book. Now, I went and bought vegan pie crust, so I didn't have to make a crust because the pie crust that I make is not vegan. I've got to work on creating my own pie crust that's vegan. But I went and bought it. It was delicious, and I saw this puff pastry. So I grabbed it, not knowing that, hey, I was going to be able to use it. But I want you to see this beautiful puff pastry that I made, and I can't wait to slice it. Give my husband a slice because I sold all of the pie, so he didn't get a slice of pie. But I think he's going to be thrilled he didn't get the pie and that he got this pastry. Um, I showed it to him. He's working in his office. So um, his uh, taste buds are already peaked. So I'm going to turn the camera down just a little bit so you can see this beautiful look at that, y'all. So the pie filling that I showed you is in this beautiful vegan puff pastry. I haven't cut it yet, um, but man, it looks delightful. It smells even more delightful. So I'm going to set this down because this is going to be the dessert. Um, then he's going to eat uh, later on this evening, but I'm going to slice it so you can just see what it looks like on the inside. Um, so we had for dinner. I had some of my fried cabbage. I had some of my savory pinto beans. My 15-minute vegan rolls. Um, we had bicolor sweet corn on the cob uh, with basil, uh, basil, garlic, and nutritional yeast sprinkled over it. Very delicious. We had baked potatoes with a little bit of salt and pepper and vegan butter. And we also had um, red uh, spicy slaw. Red, sweet, and spicy slaw. So I'm going to just plate it up. And this is how I do my uh, corn. My corn is in the hot water when it's boiling. So I take my corn and I put it on a flat plate. And I get it out of the pot. So I'm going to do. Okay. Put it on the flat plate over here. And make sure you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. Bring my camera over a little bit. Okay. Can you see me? All right. Okay. Um, all right, there we go. It needed a little bit more light. So here's this hot, uh, bicolor, beautiful corn. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this Earth Balance organic vegan butter. I'm going to put it on there. I don't need a lot. I just need enough on there so that the other ingredients that I'm going to put on here will adhere. Usually I use fresh garlic and fresh basil, like you see growing back here. Actually, it's already grown, but I have fresh basil in a pot that I typically use. Um, I make uh, a ba fresh basil, fresh garlic, uh, butter, and then I put it over our corn. But today I just wanted to simplify some things. I was a little tired. Had the grandbabies over, and so I was a little tired. So I was doing my quick rendition. So here I have uh, the buttered corn, vegan butter. I've got organic dry basil. I'm going to sprinkle there on top. I've got organic garlic powder. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that on top. And then I have... Nutritional yeast, seasonal nutritional yeast.
then I'm going to sprinkle that on there too. And I'm going to tell y'all what. This, look at that, is delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and plate this up. Place this on the plate that I'm preparing uh, for Dr. Ward with his supper. All right, and then I have, well, it's still kind of hot, I have uh, my fried cabbage, my fried vegan cabbage. No animal fats. I used safflower oil and um, vegetable stock to cook it. It's been seasoned very well uh, with carrots, celery, onion, red pepper, and of course your delightful cabbage. Uh, smells wonderful. I'm going to put a couple of spoonfuls on there for him. The other thing I had was cornbread, but um, he said, I said, honey, I ran out of cornbread. He said, just make me some of those 15 minute rolls. <laughs> so that's what I did. And he thoroughly enjoyed that. So there's the cabbage. Then I made these delightful uh, pinto beans. These delightful, oh, this, this bowl is still hot. Come on. Okay, so these delightful pinto beans. And I added quite a bit of uh, vegetable stock. Um, it had quite a bit of liquid, so it's almost like a pinto bean soup. Simply delightful. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in this ranskins right here, this red ranskins, because I want to set it right on the plate with all of his other delicious goodies. I'm going to set it on the plate. Like I said, he's doing some work. And um, so I'm getting this supper together. He'll probably go back in there and keep working again. Um, you know, he's trying to get class together for virtual learning. But there's the pinto bean soup uh, mixture. And then the other thing we had was this wonderful spicy red cabbage. See that? Spicy red cabbage. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on this plate. And it has red onion, uh, garlic, fresh basil, fresh cilantro, celery, um, and of course red cabbage. And then I use a vegan dressing with a little bit of maple syrup and some Greek seasoning, uh, some golden balsamic vinegar, stir it up. And then I put it all over this and it's Absolutely delightful. Oh, I cannot forget the jalapeno peppers that's in here as well. That's what makes it spicy. So I'm going to put that on the plate as well. I will tell you what, this, this plate, and so this is our raw. This is the vegetable where we're getting all of the enzymes because it's not cooked, hasn't been heated up at all. So every nutrient that this salad has is still in there. Just waiting to fortify our cells and gives us give us the enzymes we need. So so far we've got we've got the cabbage, we've got the corn, we've got the red cab the the red spicy slaw, and then we have this delightful the savory pinto bean soup. Now <laughs> because most of the beans are gone, um, then uh, I always remember what it, this is a great staple for vegans. If you're hungry and you want to be filled up and you want something delicious, bake you a potato. And I'm not talking about them little potatoes. You get a baking Idaho potato. And that's what I have here. And let me show you something. So, remember I told you about aluminum foil, how when we use aluminum, uh, if we put naked aluminum, aluminum on our foods, our foods take in the aluminum, uh, which is not designed for us to ingest or uh, have in our foods. So we have to be careful when we use aluminum foil and aluminum pans. Uh, so what I've been doing here lately is I cover my food with parchment first and then I wrap it up in the aluminum, you know, just to speed up the cooking process. So I wrapped it in parchment, then I wrapped it in foil, and then I baked them in the oven. 
So this is this beautiful, large Idaho potato. This is a baking potato. And you can see it's perfect. But I don't think we're going to do a whole baked potato. We're just going to take half of this. <laughs> It's still very hot. And so I'm going to score it, sprinkle a little pepper on there, um, and a little bit of uh, pink salt and some of this uh, vegan butter. And I'm going to set it right here on the side. So when I say score it, I'm going to go through and cut it uh, vertically, about quarter inch apart. This is just so the butter can sink down in there. And so the potato can get broken up and pulled away from the skin. Now, sometimes I eat the skin. I wash them thoroughly and I'll eat the skin. Uh, but then sometimes, you know, I just pull it away, the potato away from the skin. So I'm scoring it and I'm going back and forth just to loosen up the meat in this potato. So that when Remwood gets ready to eat it, it comes out of the skin easily. And then I'm going to squeeze it. Like so, like that. And I'm going to take the rest of this butter, this vegan earth balanced delicious butter. Delicious. Add that in there. Add that in there. And it's just melting, falling right down, and all of those cracks and crevices that I created by scoring it. Um, I'm going to go, uh, no, I don't want this. I was about to put some of that basil on there. I want, uh, where's my black pepper? I need the black pepper. Sprinkle a little black pepper on there. along with the butter, and a little bit of pink salt. Like so, like that. All right, and then I have these beautiful rolls right here. And then pop in here for five seconds. That's all I need. Well, maybe five more. <laughs> that was quick. All right, there, that's better. So I'm going to place one of these rolls on here. I want to cut it in half. So it can be an open-faced roll. Just a little bit on the side here. I'm going to put a bit of this vegan butter on it. He likes butter on his rolls, so it's vegan. Yay. And the oils that they use for vegan butter are a zero trans fat. Or Earth Balance is zero trans fat. I don't know about any others, but Earth Balance is. So, here we go. Here is our Sunday dinner. We absolutely devoured it earlier today, and we're going to do it again. <laughs> so there you go. There you have it. Um, man, I wish. Let me see here. I just want to taste a little bit of it while you can see me. Trust me, I've had my share. He's had his. But I've had my share. And um, our appetites are different. Because he's a bigger guy than I am. <laughs> but um, I just want to taste this in your presence. Lord, we thank you. And I'm telling you what. This, I think I ate this in your presence on New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. And some of this cabbage too. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all. Yeah. 
I'm going to get me a nice hot cup of chamomile, lavender tea, climb in my bed, and go through all of my comments on my YouTube channel. Mmm. <laughs> okay. So that's that. I'm going to set Dr. Wood's plate over here. <clears throat> and before I let you go, I've got to cut this. Beautiful. And you see the parchment? Yes, it's brown, but it's parchment, so it's okay. Um, Y'all, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to let you watch me do it. So I'm turning the cramper back down. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. If you want um, to know what those uh, items are again that I used, um, the cookbook, well, this is the puff pastry called Wawalka. Puff pastry, vegan. Um, and this, for the pie filling, classic apple pie, got from this book. But you may have uh, the Chic Natural, uh, vegan, deliciously vegan. Uh, she may have it on her page. And so you can get the classic pie apple, uh, classic apple pie recipe. Or just get the book. My daughter bought me the book. And I'm, absolutely, I'm telling you. The recipes in here, I cannot wait to try all these. Ice loaf lemon cake, black bean lasagna, cauliflower parmesan bake. I mean, it, it just sounds, uh, listen at this one, margarita pizza, uh, one pot mushroom stroganoff, general General Tao, Tao, I can never pronounce it, cauliflower. I really want to uh, try that because my husband, we used to frequent uh, Panda Express a lot. And he always got the General Tao uh, chicken, the spicy chicken. So, um, I mean, the, the recipes in here are mouthwatering. They make you want to cook them. So, I'm going to, at some point or another, just finish doing this entire book. But, I want to cut this. Puff pastry. Look at this. Look at that, y'all. All right. So let me find a clean knife. And I've got a beautiful saucer here. And I'm going to just cut. Uh, listen, it, I love the sound of puff pastry. It's so light and fluffy and... I saw this recipe about how to, how, um, how to make puff pastry. I'm going to tell you what, it's it's not a um, small task to make puff pastry. So when I saw the vegan puff pastry, I was like, apparently, don't, don't look a gift horse in the mouth and walk away. <laughs> so, okay, so I want you all to see the inside of this. Look at that. Look. The layers thin layers of pastry and the crispiness on top. Okay, I'm like my daddy. When you would give him food for each course of the meal, he would say, I think we need to bless this again. So, Lord, we thank you again, even for the dessert. So, I'm going to take a bite. I'm, look, look, how, look how flaky it is, y'all. The, the flakes are just falling off of this. Look at that. Look, watch this. Mm, mm, mm. This is going to be my breakfast. <laughs> I'm going to have another slice of this for breakfast. Y'all. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Tastes like puff pastry, sounds like puff pastry. Listen, I got to get off of here. 
I gotta go. I gotta go finish this puff pastry. <laughs> Man, this is good. Listen, leave me some comments if you enjoyed this video and you want to know what Dr. Woodard and I are eating each Sunday. These lovely Sunday vegan meals that we're ingesting. Like and share. Give me a comment. Leave me some comments. Let me know that you want to see this each Sunday. Um, or whatever you want to see, just let me know. And so, um, I thank you for joining me. Like and share. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. So that one day I can be live and actually talk to you. Um, and not have to, you know, read your comments and then come back to you. I can answer you. If I see your comments, I can answer you right away. So I like that. I don't know about you, but I like being able to do that. But I have to increase um, some of my numbers in order for me to do that on YouTube. So thank you. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you is always our prayer. Bye-bye.